Okay, one last uh, example with respect to relative motion, uh, which is kind of a rearrangement of the previous problem. Um, I just want to mention it um, because some of the homework problems maybe have this kind of a flavor. So we say car accelerates up a slope. Theta uh, and theta not known, and then um, these are all given things. So let's say we are given that the acceleration of the car relative to Earth, the magnitude is given to be five meters per second square, and uh, let's say we are given um, that the ball accelerates relative to Earth with minus 9.81 meters per second square. Let's say we are given that. And we are given that uh, acceleration of ball with respect to car, uh, the magnitude of it, uh, let's say it's given to be 13.05 meters per second square, let's say. Um, now we might ask uh, determine um, acceleration of um, ball relative to car, acceleration of car relative to earth, etc. Okay, um, and you would sort of do this problem more or less similarly to above, except the unknowns are different. Um, acceleration of car relative to earth is, well, um, because the acceleration is up the slope and it's known to be five uh, meters per second square, um, its x component is going to be five cosine theta, its y component is going to be five sine theta, so it's basically what you have is five cosine theta i plus five sine theta j, where theta is not known now. That's going to be the acceleration of car relative to the earth. Um, and then I suppose you're told um, acceleration of ball relative to car Well, you're not really told what it is, but you're told what the magnitude of that thing is. So that's going to be equal to acceleration of ball relative to earth minus acceleration of uh, car relative to earth. And that's going to be minus 9.81 J. That's ball relative to earth. And then minus five cosine theta I uh, plus five sine theta J all within the brackets. And that's going to be equal to Um, uh, f minus phi cosine theta i and then minus 9.81 j Okay, so that's how that works. Um, and then we are told that acceleration of ball with respect to car is, uh, the magnitude of is given to be 13.05. So that's 13.05. And that's gonna be equal to, well, you can take this thing and find the magnitude of it. So square root of five cosine theta square plus 9.81 plus 5 sine theta square. Um, and potentially we can solve for theta. Okay? Potentially we can solve for theta. 
Okay, um, I'm not gonna actually solve for it. Uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll maybe do a couple of more steps. Um, so it's 13.05 square equals five cosine square theta plus 9.81 square plus, well, five square, five square sine square theta plus two, 9.81 times 5 sine theta um, cosine square and sine square becomes 1 so this just is 5 square plus 9.81 square plus 2 9.81 times 5 sine theta and that's it uh, we have sine theta here bring everything to one side um, and divide by something divide by this quantity, and then you can do arc sine. So sine theta equals 13.05 square uh, minus five square minus 9.81 square divided by two times 9.81 times five. And then that gives us um, theta equals sine inverse of this quantity and that's the answer okay so that's how you can solve for theta uh, once you have theta then everything else is easy uh, we can plug theta back into this equation to get let's call this equation one um, we can once you have theta um, plug theta in one to get a car relative to earth um, and then actually let's call this three um, and we can do uh, call this equation number two plug theta and two to get a uh, ball with respect to car was it with respect to car okay so these will give us the answer okay so that's the end of that problem i just wanted to quickly show um the sort of backwards version of the previous problem